Today we're gonna to talk about some Banksy. Hey class, welcome back. Today we're going on a field trip. Now this one is to downtown Atlanta. We're gonna go see the Banksy exhibit. So a couple weeks back, I went to I went down to the Art of Banksy downtown Atlanta. Uh, it's in Underground, and if you've never been to Atlanta or underground Atlanta. This was very surreal for me because I remember going there in like the 90s and the early 2000s and that place was hopping. It was a party central place and now it is just decimated. All the shops are closed. There might be one or two places that are open. That there's several, there used to be bars down there and there's like nothing. Uh, now there was a coffee cart. We're going to do a quick break story that's going to give, give way into Banksy. And it's just one of those things that this happened and I didn't realize it at the time. And I would have like, I lost my mind after. As I'm walking in to Banksy, there's a coffee shop there that had Tesco coffee. I think it was Tesco. Either way, the this coffee brand is, it's a, it's a staple coffee in England where Banksy's from. I did not know this at the time. I walked past the coffee place. They're like, hey, you might want free coffee. We got free coffee here today. We're giving away free coffee. Cool, I love coffee. I'm a big coffee fanatic, but it I didn't know that this was a English brand left walked went away and then later on found out that it was an english brand when i got home and, and and i lost my mind because if you've ever seen banksy does new york there was a scene where banksy himself had made a dozen original prints of his work and then he got this older gentleman to sit on the side of to sit on a sidewalk and they were having a little mini artist market artist walk he was hawking the paintings and each painting was like 60 bucks 60 bucks for an original Banksy. No one knew that these were original Banksy's. And end of the day, the guy sold, I think it was like eight or nine paintings. Some of them he sold for uh, half of, of that cost of so $30 for these paintings. One mom came through and this is what the, what like the, you see this and it's like, Oh man, this mom comes through, buys a few of these paintings to dress up their kid, their kid's dorm room. Uh, who's just went away to college. So now she bought these two paintings, 60 bucks. I think it was more than that, but like she bought just a, a less than a hundred dollars worth of artwork that each of these paintings are now worth almost a quarter million dollars. It's, it's one of those things like we, we hear these stories and I, I've watched a, a lot of Banksy documentaries and somebody said it, the perfect thing. I was like, this is exactly what we feel. It's not that we got a Banksy for $60. It's the lost treasure feeling. Like you just found that pot of gold at the end of a rainbow that you you can't get that's so rare and to find something like that that's just oh it feels so good all right guys getting back to the field trip at hand this is going to be three videos in total I, this is just the first one here this one we're going over his worldview and his processes in the second video we're going to be getting into his politic activism and criticism and then the third one we're going to wrap it up with dismaland um, if anybody, if you don't know anything about Banksy at all, check out Disneyland. It was, it was a twisted version of Disney World. I do want to preface that the artworks in this installation, my impression of this, number one, if you can go to any art exhibit, I always am going to recommend that you go, but this show is all reproductions, prints of stuff. There is stamps on a lot of these prints that you would use as a stamp of authenticity but can we validate that everything in this show came from banksy himself no there's video elements there is a lot of production prints there is pieces that are up on a wall that could have been done by just kind of like a vinyl sticker so looking at this do we know that banksy actually did anything in this in this space no and i understand that but I do want to experience the artwork stuff. So on Banksy's website, he's got this label of like shows um, that are currently going on. And it it's really, this is what makes me question some of the artwork in this, in this place. So there's a product recall post that's on there and below it, it has this big picture of Things that, things that are fake, fake Banksy's. Members of the public should be aware that there has been a recent spate of Banksy exhibitions, none of which are consensual. They've been organized entirely without the artist's knowledge or involvement. Please treat them accordingly. But again, 
I want to experience, the, I want to see his stuff. I want to get out there and experience it. So I'm doing this video mainly for those that can't get to the exhibit to go see it. Then the other ones who also don't know if they want to go see it because of this. And then third, those that don't want to pay money to people who aren't him. So despite his ability to break the rules, he remains to this day a mystery since his true identity has never been revealed. In all likelihood, Banksy is a street art graffiti artist from Bristol, England. Philanthropist, anti-war and revolutionary, the artist uses his art as a medium of communication to say loud and clear his dissatisfaction with certain social ph phenomena, certain political situations, or outright certain decisions adopted by world leaders. Now, born tentatively around 1974, and then somewhere between 92 and 94, he became a true graffiti artist as part of a group known as Bristol's Dry Breads Crew. Since the beginning of his career, he employs an original combination of stencils and writings. He apparently stated he is not at his best with the usual aerosol can even though it wasn't until 2000 when he made some more elaborate stencils. He would have explained that he conceived this idea after escaping a police chase while he was hiding under a train car. According to some sources, his real name is to be Robin or Robert Banks. But again, nothing is for certain. Banksy insists stubbornly on remaining anonymous as a graffiti spirit that involves creating artworks in the purest secret. His art is a mixture of irony, irreverence, humor, and often contains a very clear messages in the context where they are not interpreted literally. First time I've seen something in print of his name. Now, if you haven't gone and seen Exit Through the Gift Shop, I do highly recommend it. Yes, it is rated R, but it is only rated R because there's one guy in there who basically uses the F word as a comma or an adjective. It's almost every other word in some cases. So if you cut that part out or if you just did it on mute and just kind of watched everything in there, you'd get most of the story. Because of the secretive nature of Banksy's work and identity, it is uncertain that the techniques that he uses to generate the images in the stencils, though it is assumed he uses computers for those images due to the photographic quality of such of his work, he mentions in his book, Wall and Peace, that as he was starting to do graffiti, he was always either taught he could never finish the art in one sitting. He claimed to be stenciling while hiding from the police under a rubby, rubbish lorry. It's a trash truck. The stenciled serial number. He then devised a series of intricate stencils to minimize time and overlapping of color. There exists a de debate over the influence of his work. Some critics claim Banksy was influenced by the musician and graffiti artist 3D. Another source credits the artist's work to resemble that of French artist Black Lorat. It is said that Banksy was inspired to use their stencils by their usage of stencils, later taking the visual style and transforming it into more modern political and social pieces. Banksy stencil, stencils feature striking and humorous images occasionally combined with slogans. The message is usually anti-war, anti-capitalist, anti-establishment. Subjects here often include rats, apes, policemen, soldiers, children, and the elderly. In the broader art world, stencils are traditionally hand-drawn or printed onto sheets of acetate or card and then being cut out by hand. This technique allows artists to quickly paint and protect their anonymity. There's a dispute, however, by many st street art artists around the world at the legitimacy of stencils as many artists criticize their use as cheating. In 2018, Banksy created a piece a piece live as it was being auctioned. The piece titled Love is in the Bend was originally painted Girl with Balloon before it was shredded while in the Sotheby's auction house. While, high, while bidding was going on, a shredder was activated within the frame and the piece was partially shredded, thus creating a new piece. This is probably one of the most widely seen and dead to rights of this is this man's work and we assume it's a guy don't even know that let's be honest we we have no idea we assume with this painting being shredded and them and and him posting about this piece you then authenticated that it is his work and we saw the work in production thus elevating the level of authenticity the level of appreciation and sheer value that you've created a, a moment in time that people can always reference as that's his work and it just became more famous. I think the last time it was up for auction, it was 26. It sold originally for like two and two and a half million. I'm gonna put the right number down here. Then it resold and it sold for like 26. Again, I'm gonna put the right number down here. It is said that he has refused hundreds of collaborations with major companies such as Nike. 
being unable to accept the idea that while pocketing millions of dollars, there are young children that are putting great effort into work in unimaginable conditions around the world. According to various sources, he was said that the list of rejected projects greatly supersedes the collaborations that he has accepted. Banksy does not figure to come out of the shadows anytime soon in the interest of promoting the emphasis on the plot instead. His latest project, the Cannes Festival, it was an exhibition that invited graffiti artists from all parts of the globe to create their own masterpieces in the group. He offers parts of his space for, for public projects. Despite the fact that he organized it himself, Banksy was noticeably absent. And we have to ask ourselves, what is street art? The street art is art developed under a multitude of forms in public places or on the street. The term includes the, the practice of graffiti, graffiti stencil, video production, display creation, pastels on streets and sidewalks. The term street art is usually used to distinguish a form of art or an act of vandalism made by an individual or a group of people that defended their territory, expressed through graffiti, their membership as a group, or wish to convey a message that has no artistic value. The substantive value of street art is very powerful. The motivations of artists to display their art in the street are among the most varied, sometimes by activism, sometimes to express dissatisfaction with a fact of society or simply to convey a strong message. The street art is an open forum of contemporary artists. There is a very powerful medium of communication that targets a wide audience since it is easily accessible and visible. Some street artists see street art as a large blank space to make their artworks, while others adopt this form of art to find strong emotions that emanate from the risk incurred in the realization of projects on private or public property and that would include being arrested or ticketed the techniques used vary in difference in proportions and, and styles although it was often possible to observe graffiti during the decades after wars or popular uprising for example the movement took true meaning towards the end of the 1970s in europe the only real inspiration for this artist is actually the human being in all of its forms all of the faults all of the qualities the ideas, the crazy ideals. He creates a way to entertain and transcend that which is established now. He wants to elevate street art in order to make this the art of all the backgrounds of all cultures of all people. And he navigates so elegantly and skillfully without falling into bad taste. And that's where I'm gonna to pause today's piece. Uh, again, we're continuing this on. This is a three-part series that I'm doing. Again, this is just the first part, getting into the man's process. A lot of good substance there. And I think it's important for us to think as, as educators, as students, as people who enjoy graffiti, this is, it's all about conveying that message. You wanna get something out there to the public and you want them to see what you think, why you think it, how you think it, and getting it out there to have some sort of response to. It's not always about, let's just make a cool picture and put it up on the wall. Sometimes it's about some real heartfelt messaging. What do we want to push out into the world and so that people understand that there are things going on in the, wor going on in the world that none of us like. And, it, and I think that's an important thing to do. I do it myself even. I have several pieces I make in different places. Uh, it's not under my main brand i do have other brands that i use for different aspects because i think it's important too i think what he does is a very valued uh part of society we need to keep those uh ideals live active make sure that we we have those voices heard uh because sometimes they're not and dismissed by several people and sometimes you got to elevate them up I'm gonna pause it here today but as always let's go ahead and wrap up class like we do uh don't forget if you guys had uh, take care of that homework which is to like subscribe share and all the various platforms get the message out there also if you guys had a question comment or concern during today's class raise your hands in the comments below have any answers to questions from my classmates get back to you guys as quick as i possibly can other than that i'm going to keep working on this uh doing some more research for you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video until then later guys